Hello, this is Pastor Don Schultz with the Appanoose Baptist Church with a Church at Home message for Palm Sunday, April 5th. I look forward to when we can again worship together in our church building, and we will. Just keep praying that God's miracle will come to heal our land. My message today is entitled, The Symbols of Palm Sunday, or Five Reminders Why Jesus is King of Kings. I'm using some input from Debbie McDaniel, a Bible blogger and author and the wife of a pastor. Her daily devotions are outstanding. The scripture today is the triumphant entry from Matthew chapter 21, verse 1 through 11. If you look also at Mark, Luke, and John, you'll see that their account of this event is very similar. Matthew 21, 1 to 11, NIV. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethpage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there, with her colt by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. This took place to fulfill what was written through the prophet. Say to daughter Zion, See, your king comes to you, gentle and riding on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and spread their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their, spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road also. The crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowds answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. Did you know that the word Hosanna is the same word today as it was in its original Hebrew form? Translated to Greek and then to modern English, it remains the same word, Hosanna. The only thing changed, in the beginning the meaning was more to that of a cry for help, meaning save or save please. Later it came to mean salvation, or salvation has come. As Jesus entered Jerusalem, it was shouted as a praise, Hooray for salvation! Salvation has come! If you have a palm branch today, or it's okay just to wave your hand, now's a good time to visualize that entry as we wave our palms and sing. Remember the song? Sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna to the King. Well, the streets of Jerusalem, Jerusalem were overcrowded with spectators. They were there in preparation for Passover, which was just four days away. Some already knew Jesus, or knew of him, through the word that had spread about the miracles he'd performed. Most Jews believed that Jesus, who had called himself both the Son of God and the Son of Man, was coming to become their earthly king and free them from the strong arm of the Roman Empire. Even his disciples weren't completely sure of what his kingdomship uh, really meant. They were like most of the others. They just wanted earthly benefits and did not understand at all what was about to take place. So they laid down their coats to honor him, and they waved palm branches and laid them in his path. Palm branches represent goodness and victory, soon that to be the victory over death. The palm branch is the first symbol of Palm Sunday, and is also the first reminder that Jesus is King of Kings in his victory over death. As the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 15, 55, O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? Jesus chose to ride on a donkey, actually the colt of a donkey. It was common for dignitaries to ride a donkey in a procession as a sign of peace or coming in peace. And in this case, it directly fulfilled Old Testament prophecy from Zechariah chapter 9, verse 9, which I already read as part of the Matthew scripture, which says, Rejoice greatly, daughter Zion, shout, daughter Jerusalem, see your king comes to you, righteous and victorious, lowly and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of the donkey. The second symbol of Palm Sunday is the donkey, the symbol of peace, and the reminder that Jesus is king of kings and called himself the prince of peace. 
The people shouted Hosanna, praising Jesus as salvation has come. Jesus is the saving king. The third symbol of Palm Sunday is Hosanna, reminding us that Jesus is king of kings as the savior who came. Scripture from Luke's recording of this event in chapter 19 says, As Jesus approached Jerusalem and saw the city, he wept over it and said, If you, even you, had only known on this day what would bring you peace, but it is now hidden from your eyes. In the midst of all the praise that Jesus was receiving, he knew that it would not be long before these same people would turn their back on him, calling for his crucifixion. His heart broke with the reality of just how much they needed a Savior. The fourth symbol of Palm Sunday is sacrifice. Sacrifice for salvation, reminding us that Jesus is King of Kings because of his sacrifice for our salvation. The fifth symbol of Palm Sunday is Jesus as the conquering King. The people wanted someone to fight their battle in the present day. Yet God had the ultimate plan of sending his son to fight and win the final battle, the battle over sin and death. This is why we celebrate this week, reminding us that we have a king that is truly king of kings. He is our conqueror, conquering the grave, sacrificing himself for our salvation, being the true Hosanna, being the peace for our life, and giving us victory over sin, over death, and even eternal damnation. Jesus is King of kings and Lord of lords. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So what does all this mean for us today? Today, are we in need of a conquering king and a savior? Today, do we need peace and victory in our life and in the world? I'd say we do, wouldn't you? God made his son Jesus to be our sacrifice to allow us to have all of these, salvation, peace, victory, and conquering over our worries, our fears, our sadness, and yes, even our sickness. Have you accepted his kingship in your life? When you accepted Jesus as your Savior, did you make him your Lord, king of your life? We are called to serve God just as a servant is called to serve his master. But it's not easy to turn our life over to God, allowing his spirit to take full control. But if we do not give up and give in, Everything Jesus died to accomplish is of no value. You must give in to his kingship. Put your faith in God and he'll return it with his faithfulness. This week, think about the five reminders of why Jesus is king of kings. Ask him to open your heart to receive the fullness of his spirit. Then prepare to celebrate Easter as you've probably never done before with a whole new meaning. God loves you so very much that he gave the life of his son so you can live victoriously. Will you surrender to him? The hymn I included today uh, to sing at your church at home is called I Surrender All. I hope you'll read or sing that together. Join me now in prayer. Father God, I give you praise and adoration for who you are and who we are in you. Through the sacrifice of your son, Jesus, we are conquerors, victorious over what would otherwise drag us down. Thank you for this insight on the meaning of Palm Sunday and the fact that we can know, we can know Jesus and we can know he's King of Kings and Lord of Lords just by asking him. May your peace and comfort reside with each and every one that calls on your name, both today and forever. Keep them safe and restore the joy of their salvation every morning. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you for listening today. I pray you have a good week as we prepare for Easter. I will post a midweek uh, message probably on Wednesday as we look forward to Good Friday and the joy of Easter Sunday. God bless you all.